Welcome back to NurseNet Numeracy, the free-to-use online maths tutorial course designed for nurses. In this lesson, we will discuss how to administer a basic dosage of a drug. And we will be working as if the drug was dissolved into a solution. So, we'll be working out how much of the solution you will need to administer to fulfill a prescription. So, we need to consider the stock dose and the prescribed dosages. So a stock dose is how much of the drug is in a solution or a liquid. For example, we could have a stock dose of 3 milligrams of the drug in a 100 milliliter solution. The prescribed dosage is how much of the drug the patient will be given. So for example, if the patient is prescribed 400 milligrams of a drug, you will need to work out how much of the solution to give based on the stock dose. We can do this by a simple calculation. Prescribed dose divided by stock dose multiplied by the volume the stock dose is in. So here's an example. A patient is prescribed 125 milligrams of a drug that is available in a stock dose of a 2 milligram to 10 milliliter solution. How much of the solution should be given to the patient? So in effect, what we're trying to find out is how many times we're giving the stock dose to the patient, or put another way, how many times does the stock dose go into the prescribed dose? So let's put these numbers into our formula. Well, prescribed dose of 125 milligrams divided by the 2 milligrams of the drug within the stock dose multiplied by the volume of the stock dose. So we get 125 milligrams divided by 2 milligrams multiplied by 10 milliliters, which gives us 625 milliliters. Therefore, the answer is how much of the solution should be given to the patient? It's 625 milliliters of the solution. Let's do another one. A patient is prescribed 80 milligrams of a drug that is available in a stock dose of 100 milligrams to 50 milliliters of solution. How much of the solution should the patient be given? So let's revert back to our formula, which is prescribed dose divided by stock dose multiplied by the volume the stock dose comes in. So let's crunch the numbers. Well, we have a prescribed dose of 80 milligrams divided by the stock dose of the drug, which is 100 milligrams. And that's multiplied by the solution of the stock dose, which is 50 milliliters. So. 80 milligrams divided by 100 milligrams is equal to 0 0.8. We then multiply it by the 50 milliliters, which gives us an answer of 40 milliliters. Therefore, the patient should be given 40 milliliters of the solution. Now it's your turn. A patient is prescribed 150 milligrams of a drug that is available in stock doses of 50 milligrams to 150 milliliters of solution. How much of the solution should be given to the patient? You can pause the video and press play when you're happy to reveal the answer. OK, using the formula, let's crunch the numbers. 150 milligrams prescribed dose divided by the 50 milligrams of stock dose gives us 3. Multiplied by the stock dose solution, which is 100 milliliters. Therefore, the patient should be given. 300 milliliters of solution. If you're feeling confident, now do the stock dose calculation test on the NurseNet Numeracy website. You can find lots more maths help at www.nursenet.uk or if you're simply looking for your next career move in nursing, do check out our jobs board. 